In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the standard deviation and variance for a given set of data. The standard deviation in statistics is used to measure the spread of quantitative data in a distribution. Standard deviation. And the formula is given as follows. S equals the square root of the sum of x minus x bar squared divided by n minus 1. So what does this mean? Well, this symbol, uppercase sigma, a Greek letter, means the sum of. That tells us that we're going to take the sum or add together some values. x represents each individual data point contained within our set. And x bar is the symbol we use to represent the sample mean for a given data set. The symbol n is used to indicate the total size of our sample. And this superscript here, the 2 that's raised up, means that we're going to take the square of what is indicated inside the parentheses. In other words, we're going to take x minus x bar, square it, do this for each data point, and then add all of those results together. Then we'll divide them by n minus 1, and our result will take the square root to find our standard deviation. It sounds complicated, but once you get started, you'll see it's much easier than it looks. The variance is used to evaluate the spread of data, and it is related to the standard deviation. In fact, the variance is simply the square of the standard deviation. Here's the formula for the variance. It's indicated by s squared equals the sum of x minus x bar squared divided by n minus 1. But rather than plug all of our data into both formulas, we can use just one, and then, for example, if we want to solve for standard deviation, we'll square our result to get the variance. If we want to use the formula for variance, we would plug our values into that formula and then take the square root to obtain our standard deviation. So what I'm going to do is use the formula for standard deviation, calculate that first, and then use our result to obtain the variance. Suppose I was given the following set of data. 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. I want to find the standard deviation for this particular data set. Well, one thing that I notice is that in the formula for standard deviation, I need to know what my mean is. So I'm going to start by finding the mean. The formula for finding a mean for this particular sample is x bar equals the sum of x divided by n. Again, that symbol uppercase sigma means the sum of. We're going to add together all of our values of x, our data points, and divide them by the total number of points in our sample. So let's get started. 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 divided by 5, which is the total number of points in our sample, equals 25 divided by 5, which equals 5. Now, we'll plug everything into our formula for standard deviation and solve. So S equals the square root of 1 minus 5 squared plus 3 minus 5 squared plus 5 minus 5 squared, plus 7 minus 5 squared, plus 9 minus 5 squared, divided by 5 minus 1. And as you can see, calculating a standard deviation by hand has the potential to become very time consuming. And so that's why when you're working with larger data sets, it's often more convenient to use a calculator. 
In this case, I kept our data set fairly small, so it's no problem at all to work out the standard deviation by hand. Let's simplify this a little bit further. 1 minus 5 gives us negative 4 squared. Now when we take the square of a number, we multiply it by itself. So I'm multiplying negative 4 times negative 4. Anytime you multiply two negative numbers together, you get a positive number. So I'll keep that in mind. Negative 2 squared plus 0 squared plus 2 squared plus 4 squared, all divided by 4. So now let's square those values. Negative 4 squared gives me positive 16. Negative 2 squared gives me positive 4. 0 squared is 0, of course. Positive 2 squared gives me 4. And positive 4 squared gives me 16, all divided by 4. If we simplify further by adding all the values in the numerator of our fraction, we get 40 divided by 4, which is equal to the square root of 10. So our standard deviation is the square root of 10. It's more common to take the square root and express it in decimal form. So I'll say the square root of 10 is approximately equal to 3.16. And this is our standard deviation. To find the standard deviation, um, to find the variance rather, I simply square the standard deviation, 3.16 raised to the second power, and that is approximately equal to 10. So my variance is 10. And that is how you find the standard deviation and variance for a data set.